This episode is all about getting your boobies out in front of the camera. I've spoken to so many women who've had mastectomies, either preventative mastectomies or mastectomy as a result of cancer, and so many of them have said to me that they really regret not having photographs of their boobs before the operation. So that's what I've gone and had done. I've done it professionally. I had Tiggs Rice take my photographs, and I'm gonna interview her in a sec, and I had an amazing makeover by Miss Honey Bear. Now, if you've just been diagnosed with breast cancer, probably going and having a professional photo shoot might not be the first thing on your mind, but what I would highly recommend is just taking your own photographs. So standing in front of the mirror, having something. From what I've heard from the other side of it, losing a body part is like, it's like mourning. How important it is if you've lost a loved one to have photographs of them and have a look over them. This is for you, <laughs> it's not for anybody else. And I know a lot of people feel self-conscious getting in front of a camera, but it's a really important process to go through. So I had my photographs taken and here I am interviewing Tiggs Rice. I have with me Tiggs Rice today who has very kindly been doing a photo shoot for me. So first of all, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Tiggs Rice and I run a boudoir photography studio um, which we are currently oh, in. This is my art, so deco. Sexy. Yeah. <laughs> my art deco boudoir. So I've been shooting now for well, actually it'll be 10 years in December. So how, what's it like? So it was absolutely amazing, such an incredible experience, but you must meet all sorts of women, men, anybody. We're really, really lucky to work with every, every kind of wonderful human on the planet. Yeah. So we have women come through, we have men come through, we have non-binary, mm -hmm. we have people that are going through changing their gender. So yeah, like we, we're so privileged to literally be able to work with everybody. everybody. Yeah. And what, why would you encourage it? So if you met somebody and they're like, oh, I don't think I'd ever do that. Why would you sort of say, oh, it's a really positive thing? Or would you encourage it for people? Yeah, completely. I think about it on my personal journey mm. and I really struggled with how I looked and how I felt about myself in my late teens. I was bullied a lot through school. Oh. Um, and then I go, came through and I got to my early 20s and I was really lucky that I'd fallen in, I actually fell into this career. I was working with these incredible women that had the confidence to get in front of my camera. And I was like, actually, do you know what? I'm gonna try this for myself because I feel like it's really important for me to know what it's like yeah. on the other side of the camera. Yeah. Um, Did you feel exposed? <laughs> like the first time was awkward, but it was awkward because I made it awkward, not because yeah. it was awkward. From that experience, I was like, okay, well, what makes me feel comfortable in this situation? Being able to speak to someone before they turn up, um, we had good chats, we had a cup of tea, really good chat with the makeup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did. And then by the time, you know, if you've spoken to people through the hour and a half of makeup and you're having yeah. your hair done and you're really just getting to know people um, and then by the time you get there like obviously the first few shots might mm -hmm. feel a bit awkward because in some respects you know we're two people that you've never met before then you've just come in. I didn't mind. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't like, mind but I can, can imagine a lot of people might feel really self-conscious especially yeah. in a situation like, like mine where you don't I've never, I don't ever get naked in front of people. But it's amazing how quickly you then start to relax yeah. and just and all of a sudden you're like oh shape shoot me this yeah. angle this angle. And she was flaunting some great poses. Oh my god. <laughs> this one, do you want my armpit? Yeah do you want this? Do you yeah. Want this? And I think after the first couple of poses, I think you really warm into it and it's getting that feedback that actually, you know, we're all different, but there are so many bodies. And I think for me, being able to see so many different bodies and body shapes, body types, like different heights, different weights, yeah. you know, and we, we're all so different. Um, and, it, and we all want what we haven't got a lot of the time. Yeah. 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 I think what I found weird was that I was... Um, I wanted cold nipples. <laughs> yeah. I really wanted my nipples up here and you were like, but it's natural for them not to be like up here. We had fans, we had windows open. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then eventually you just relax and think, it doesn't matter, does it? Exactly. It's still your body. <laughs> and we're all different and what we've all got is amazing. I don't think we ever go into a situation where we go, mm, you know, they don't look great. Like actually all of us are there going, well, they've got amazing thighs and they've got yeah. amazing boobs and, you know, their arms are killer. Like, you know, like, there's always something that we look at someone and go, wow, like, That's you amazing. look incredible. Yeah, definitely. Um, and how amazing is it if we all spoke like that all the time and about nice ourselves? nice to each other. We're so critical of each other a lot of the time. Of other women. Women are critical of women. I find that a lot. How have you found this experience? That's, though? yeah, that's probably, it was really empowering. I feel so sad that it's taking for me to lose my boobs, the fact that I'm gonna lose my boobs to actually do something like this. 
because yeah. I'm only really appreciating them because I know I'm not going to have them anymore and that's yeah. sad. I feel very, I feel very emotional um, and I really enjoyed it and I found it very kind of empowering but then it, um, it's because I'm loving my body at the moment and then that's a bit sad so I'm a bit I'm confused. <laughs> I'm yeah. very confused but I would recommend it for people, anyone really, yeah. just to embrace your body as it is naturally. What were your thoughts coming in? So like, I always like to hear this from like I'm interviewing you now. Yeah, um, do it. <laughs> and what were your what were your thoughts and expectations coming into this process and do you think that your what you expected was what happened mm. today? I think it was much more relaxed I don't know, you, I just imagine like photo shoot, like, but it was just so relaxed and we were just having a bit of a giggle behind the camera, weren't we? She got me to think of dirty thoughts. <laughs> it works. Yeah, it, it really works. works. But I think, uh, partly it's because I haven't seen the photos yet, I don't know the final result, so I'm excited about that. <laughs> yeah, you'll love them, you look amazing I hope them. so. <laughs> Have you ever photographed somebody pre mastectomy or post mastectomy if you're allowed to share that? Yeah, so I have photographed um, at least one other, um, one other woman who was going through an elective double mastectomy and she had this amazing, um, it's like a capelet and so it was like lace here and then literally just where it met the nipples she had all these great like oh, strings amazing. coming down, so it's just like nipples po like poking through and like the silhouette and um, it was oh, it was so classy. She had said that she was going to come in for the post-op and um, you know for whatever reason that didn't end up going ahead. It was just nice to know that it had been I'd been part of it is, you know it is quite a special time I think yeah, yeah. Um, and it is part of that journey like you said preparing for it yeah this is part of a preparation for exactly yeah. um, and it's just I for me it's really important to be a part of and mm. to be part of your journey as well yeah. and, you know, just being able and to coming offer. back afterwards. <laughs> yes. yes. You're going to feel really different because a, a part of your body has changed yeah. so much. Um, <laughs> and, you know, it, from this side, making you feel confident about what you have now and recording its existence. And then afterwards, hopefully, you know, being able to show you how beautiful you are. Yeah. Still, you know, like I know you're beautiful now and you're beautiful then, but it's, it's a new part of your body that you're going to yeah. have to learn. And actually, I think it's quite a process anyway. Coming here today and getting naked, you get more and more confident as the hour or so goes on. Yeah. So I imagine even if I wasn't very confident afterwards, just standing in front of somebody you don't really know and getting naked, I think your confidence just goes up. It's, yeah. it's about accepting it and getting comfortable with your body, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And what you can do with your photos afterwards? Oh, um, put them on my walls. <laughs> I love that answer. Get them printed know. like life size. Yeah. My brother asked me, and I was like, imagine if you come around my house and see naked photos of me. He's like, no, that's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, and have you photographed anyone after a mastectomy? No, not show? that I, not that I'm aware okay. of. Not that anyone's told me. Okay. So. Yeah, so you might be the first. Oh, that's exciting. I know. So thank you very much. That's all right. <laughs> thank you for being here today. Thank you. So I'm on the other side of it now. I have seen my photographs and they are amazing. <laughs> and I feel really, really shocked because I went in kind of thinking this is about my boobs and I wanted to capture my boobs. And when Tig showed me the photographs, I just thought, oh my gosh, look at my legs. That's all I keep thinking about. So many women have issues with their bodies. There's surveys being done that say something like 90% of women feel self-conscious about their bodies or they don't love their bodies. So even if you're not having a mastectomy, you're not losing a body part, I really recommend just going and capturing your body. If you look at it, it gives you confidence. It makes you look at your body in a new light. So I could not recommend enough. Now, on the flip side of this, I have got an episode called Shitty Titties, Shit Tits, which is all about taking photographs of your boobs in the most unflattering way. So please watch that episode and see why I've done that.